Hi, my name's Hans, and today we're with Rimmer Brothers, we shall be doing the removal and fitting of a Triumph Stag inlet manifold. As you can see, we're demonstrating this with the engine removed from the vehicle, so it's easy to see what's going on. Um, previously, we've removed the carburetor and inlet manifold that goes on the top. That's just one stud with the one nut on there. The thermostat housing has been removed as well as a water pipe on here. So now we can actually see all the bolts that we need to remove to remove the manifold. As you can see, there are three bolts to every inlet manifold port on the head. So we shall start by removing the short bolts. These, these ones here are very easy to get at. Same on the other side. I'll just crack them off first. And then we've got the two long bolts each side. Let's crack them off. And lastly, we have two bolts that we'll see in a moment. I've removed the rubber water hose that goes from the top cover of the water pump so we can see that bolt down there which needs removing and there's one down there. We can only do those with a spanner and they're quite difficult to uh, just take a bit of patience but they come off okay. This is the last bolt to remove so after we've done this we shall be able to remove the manifold. We will find that it will have glued itself to the heads if it hasn't been off in a long time and we shall need to pry, use a pry bar to help part company with the heads. I usually try in the front here to lift it up or if I'm getting the back underneath. This one's been off quite recently so this will come off quite, uh, quite easily and we'll just lift it out of position. I'd just like to show you before you reassemble it why we're changing these gaskets. Here are some I've taken off on a previous job and you can see how badly damaged um, they've become. The problem is just fitting new gaskets is they will always leak around here and that's why when I put new gaskets on I put a really thin layer of silicon sealant and let it go hard before assembling otherwise you'll be bound to get problems in the future. On removing this inlet manifold you can see on the previous occasion how I've used silicon sealant very carefully, not too much, not too little, around the water jacket passages and it provides an effective way of sealing without blocking any of the waterways. Note when fitting these gaskets that they're not symmetrical. If you turn them over they um, they don't line up with the holes and uh, will cause problems. So make sure that you fit them the right way around. Also, we need some sealant that will cover these parts here. I found that if I just put a really thin bead on the gasket each side, let it go really off, that uh, stops any problems in the future. So first of all, we'll coat the gaskets around these waterway holes and leave them for 10 minutes. As you can see where we've put the small layer of silicon sealant and now it's gone a little bit hard we can attach the inlet manifold and it's just enough to hold in position while we lower it down. If they move we can always reposition them but if we're very careful hopefully we'll just do it the once. Need to line up the holes and insert the bolts. We fitted the inlet manifold nice and snugly, lined up all the bolt holes with the gaskets and first of all we fitted all the bolts in finger tight on this side. We noticed on this side we have to lever it down slightly to get all the bolts in because it's very very tight. There's not much clearance and uh, I've had to really pull down to get the hole to line up with the threaded hole below but now it's gone in and we can get all the bolts in nice and loose and then tighten them up evenly. So now we've fitted all the bolts and tightened them up just snugly we can now torque them up to 20 pounds per foot. If we go around evenly
any two we can't do with a torque wrench, the two at the front, but we'll just have to judge those with a spanner.